Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Wamala and now news in detail. The merchant Sangar Putu Mundan today burned down the illicit Indian made foreign liquor production unit been operating at a piggery stockyard under Wamakan village jurisdiction of Tuli ADCHQ. Few days back, the unit was raided by the SDPO Tuli along with officer in charge Tuli police station. Speaking to Hombil TV, the Putumundan member said that such activities against the social norms and custom that defiles the land. Therefore, they resolved to burn the shacks initiated by approximately 200 volunteers from Wamakan Madansanga Putu village. Wakan Sunso Mungdang and Wamakan Lanur, the organization informed that the plot was leased out for Pigri Stockyard under term and condition and NOC of the village council and separately with the individual landowner at Longnakpa, London area near railway station. My name is Punwa, Village Council Secretary, Wamagan. Today we are here to execute our decision made by Mission Sangar Putumandan, Wamagan. It is seen that illicit liquor production unit is installed here recently. So, to demolish us, we have come today, leading by our council chairman, along with our council members in Budomandat, we have Sunsu Mungdang, led by our president. We have Wamakan Lanur from Tuli and Tsutikong town. Now, we are going to do our decision by burning down it, and the later actions we will do consecutively. The Putumundan informed that the council has immediately revoked the NOC as it has violated the guidelines and agreement made between the individual and the council. The organization warned that stern action against will be taken against those involved in such illegal activities under its jurisdiction. Meanwhile, the Wamakan village Madan Sangar Putu submitted an ultimatum to ADC Tuli to arrest the accused person involved within 15 days. It also cautioned that if fell to arrest the culprits, the Putu Mundan take its own course of action during which if any untoward situation arises, the organization will not be held responsible. While acknowledging the police personnel swift action, the latter stated that the recent incident is a shocking reality to the village which is a menace and a threat to the society for healthy existence. The incident has brought reputation to the village. My name is Steve Nakshi. I am the president of Wamakan Susu Mungdang. And we are really shocked to learn about this toleration unit here at uh, Longakpa, London, Wamakan Valley. And we vehemently condemn these kind of activities that are going on in our area. And I also thank the low appearing authority, the police, for passing out this kind of activity. And I urge that the, the arsonists as well as the culprits should be given the fair amount of punishment. And I hope in the future too, the police will continue their kind of work. Amit Sajikong, Vice Chairman, Bhimar and Jamir. 
এই আজ গমাকান খাও সুরপা আর কি আহিকি না একশন লো আছে আমি সাজিগং গাঁসলপুর আমি এই একদম স্ট্রংলি সাপোর্ট করে আছে আর এই হুলিসপুরা নতুন রাজাক আমি কামে পুলিশ লগতে সাপোর্ট দিয়ে থাকি এই কোন এনেকা কাম করেছে এই জাস্ট পিছিয়ে আনব লাগে হয়ে কি না মই সাজিগং হল পাবলিক নামপুরা সাজিগং ভাইস চেয়ারম্যানপুরা কয়ে আছে As per SDPO, Tuli Muatim Jin Ao, information about illicit IMFL being stashed at a farm was received from reliable sources on June 21 at around 9 p.m. The team immediately swung into action and raided the area. About 50 cases of McDowell rum along with liquor, distilleries, other harmful chemicals and ingredients have been seized from the unit. The SDPO informed that one person, namely Imti Chuba, 35 years, from Ungur village, presently residing in Windy Ward of Changtongya, was arrested and cases have been registered at Tuli Police Station under 11 sections. SDPO also ruled out the involvement of the landowner in the case, adding the culprits behind this illegal activity are still absconding. Police assumed that the lucrative illicit IMFL production might have been operated by a group, not by an individual alone. The case is under investigation. Union Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Narendra Singh Tomar will be on a two-day visit to Nagaland from Sunday. On the first day of his tour, Singh will pay a field visit to the Central Institute of Horticulture at Metsifima and inaugurate the Farmers Exhibition come workshop at in the Institute campus. He will also visit the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, National Research Center on Mitun and a pineapple farm at Molvom village under Mission Organi Organic Value Chain Development for Northeast Region during the day. Nagaland Agriculture Production Commissioner Waikake Sema held a meeting with Agri and Allied Departments, District Administration, Nagaland State Agriculture Marketing Board and others here today and brief them on the protocols and logistic arrangements in connection with the minister's visit to Nagaland. The Gujarat ATS on Saturday detained activist Testa Satalvat's house in connection with a foreign fund case related to her NGO. Testa Satalvat's NGO had provided information about the 2002 riots to the police and her name has been mentioned in the Supreme Court judgment which upheld the SIT's clean sheet to Narendra Modi. The move of the Gujarat ATS comes hours after Union Home Minister Amit Shah in his interview with news agency ANI slammed Te Testa Setalvat and said her NGO gave best less information about the Gujarat riots. Testa Setalvat's lawyer said the police barged into her house and assaulted her. First, the activist was taken to Santa Cruz Police Station. From here, she will be taken to Ahmedabad City Police Station. The Supreme Court on Friday rejected the appeal by Zakia Jafri, wife of Congress MP Ishan Jafri, who was killed in the Gujarat violence and said that the appeal was devoid of merits. A three-judge bench headed by Justice A.M. Kanwilkar upholding the Special Investigation Team or SIT's 2012 clean sheet to Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the Gujarat riot case said that Setalvat, co-petitioner in the case, exploited the emotions of Zakia Jaffrey. On Saturday, past six resolutions amid the ongoing political crisis of Maharashtra, a Sena chief and Maharashtra chief minister Udav Thakre warned the Eknath Chinde faction against using the name of his father Balasaheb Thakre. Earlier in the day, rebel MLA Deepak Kesarkar announced that a rebel faction would be known as Shiv Sena Balasaheb and they will not merge with any party. The Shiv Sena national executive decided to take action against anyone using the name of Sena or Thakre. Odavji said that if they want to seek votes, they must do so in their father's name. Chief Senate MP Sanjay Rod said after the meeting, which Odav 
attended in person, the meeting resolved that Chief Minister Odaf Thakare is authorized to take legal action against the rebel MLS. All elections will be fought under the name of Odaf Thakare. The party belongs to Bala Sahib Thakare and nobody is authorized to use his name and form a new group. There will be no compromise on the ideology of a united Maharashtra. The Hindutva ideology of Bala Sahib Thakare will not be compromised and the Shiv Sena will take legal action against those using Bala Sahib's name and will also approach the election commission. The rebel MLS led by Ekna Chinde on Saturday named their group as Chief Sena Bala Sahib. This amid Yudav Thakre led Chief Sena presses for the disqualification from the assembly. Our group will be called Chief Sena Bala Sahib. We will not merge with any party, rebel Chief Sena MLA Deepak Kesarkar said. Ekna Chinde group's decision comes amid the executive meeting of the Yudav Thakre led Chief Sena. The Mahavikas Akadi government continues to put up a brave front even as 38 rebel MLS are camping in Guwahati. On Friday, the rebel camp had written a letter to acting speaker Narhari Zirwal saying that Eknath Chinde will be the elected leader in the assembly. Two independent lawmakers backing them also issued a notice to move no confidence motion against Zirwal who accepted a Sena proposal to disqualify 16 rebel MLS. The Chief Sena has been in a combative mode with Udav Thakre in his Friday addressing <coughs> address calling the rebel as backstabbers. There have been incidents of Chief Senics vandalizing the offices of rebel legislators. The office of one of the rebel MLS of Chief Sena Mangesh Kudalkar was vandalized on Friday allegedly by party workers amid the ongoing factionalism in the party. Kudalkar is one of the 38 Chief Sena rebel MLS who has camped in a Guwahati hotel under the leadership of MLA Eknath Chinde. In another such developing story of vandalization of offices by the party workers, Shiv Sena workers have now vandalized party's MLA Tanaji Sawant in the Balaji area of Katraj, Pune. Sawant is also among the rebel Shiv Sena MLS who is currently camping in Guwahati. <laughs> To be Uto Savana, Mana, the star, or to be Tucha under Patasa Rajinavada, and the first me a touch in the Sulaya, but you would not want the two. The Pumsidor Kerita Kasala, a touch in the G. The Pumisula Rajinavada. After 10-year-old Manipuri environmentalist Lisi Priya Kangujam Street went viral on social media about garbage outside the Taj Mahal on the banks of the Yamuna River 
Authorities have taken cognizance of it and made sure that the area was cleaned immediately. Taking to Twitter, Kangu Jam posted a video where cleaning was conducted and shot a before and after photograph of it. The child activist stated that she was happy to see that her tweet forced authorities clean garbage around Taj Mahal. But I want a permanent solution, she exclaimed and urged the banned single use plastic completely, completely in and around all heritage sites of India under a law. Further, the Agra Municipal Corporation has fined a sum of 1 lakh rupees to the private company Lion Services Private Limited for not carrying out sanitation work as contracted and failing to perform their duty. To make international travel easier and passport holders data secure, the Government of India is working on launching e-passports very soon. Announced the concept of e-passports last year and now the External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar said that the e-passports will start rolling out by the end of this year. Um, S. J. Shankar, he also said that the e-passports will help the Government of India to help the public to improve citizen experience in public delivery. Notably, a chip-based e-passport isn't a new concept. More than 100 countries already offer e-passport, countries including Ireland, Zimbabwe, Malawi, India's neighbouring Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh are among some of the nations that have rolled out e-passport. States data issued by the International Civil Aviation Organisation reveals. So what is e-passport exactly and how will it make travel easy and secure? Here's everything you need to know about the soon to release cheap best e-passports. While e-passport will do the same work as a normal physical passport, they will come with a small electronic chip inside. The chip used inside the passport will store all crucial details of the passport holder. This information includes name, date of birth, address and other things. In a shocking incident, three persons of the same family were brutally murdered in Katichuna area of Mariani. Bodies of two women and a man were found in a quarter of a brick factory on the morning of June 25. The deceased were identified as Sunti Bora, Manalisa Bora and Tulu Bora. It was informed that Sunti Bora was working as a caretaker of the brick factory owned by one Jivan Lahon. Police arrived at the spot and investigation is underway. Sniffer dogs were also used to trace the culprits, but so far no arrests have been made in connection to the murder. Advisor for Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Dr. Nikki Salin Nikki Kir on June 25 announced that he will be contesting for the upcoming general elections 2023. Kiri declared this while speaking at the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party Kohima Region Inter Assembly, Assembly Football Tournament come get together at Indira Gandhi Stadium in Kohima. Kiri urged upon the people to start working for the party for the next general election and to stay in touch with the party for the betterment. <laughs> This is all for now. Keep watching Hobbit TV.